Hey friends, just a quick update here. I'm just sitting here on uh, Jaffa Street or Yafo Street. I got some uh, coffee, coffees. And uh, this is the, uh, the bike, the electric bike. Dropped the boy off earlier. Did a little bit of shopping for a few items that we needed. And uh, I can't, I can't change the uh, the camera to point where I'm looking. I have to do that separately. But uh, right down the street is where Christine and I stayed when we were here four years ago. After the group left, we stayed for a week in Jerusalem. And uh, there we go. That's better. I'm gonna split the difference. Anyway, just uh, thinking out loud that uh, it's kind of where we were. And uh, just watching, watching life and taking a break before I head to the library for massive amounts of reading and studying and trying to get caught up. Today is the third day, fourth day that Elijah's been in daycare. So uh, finally getting caught up. Anyway, there it is. Okay, so I thought I'd take this moment to show you our laundry facilities here on campus at Jerusalem University College. Uh, since I am about to engage in the hanging of laundry on a very nice, nice and new line slash arbor setup. Um, back over this way, down, down that end of that walkway is our room. And uh, again, I'll have to walk this way because it's weird. But, um, Here's the arbor in the garden. And it's a beautiful courtyard slash garden here at the school. Uh, the little boy likes to run through. It's mostly over there in the open space, but back here is a Protestant cemetery, which we'll get to in another vlog. Anyway, let's, let's walk this way. Let me, I'm just gonna turn the camera. And uh, over here, there's some um, shared bathrooms. They're very nice. I'll show you. These are these are fairly new. You can see the nice, fancy shower heads, and um, yeah, very nice. Anyway, hey. and then this way we have some. Here's some of my classmates. Hey, classmates! They've been digging. They've been playing in the dirt. Oh yes. Yeah, we'll we'll, uh, we'll show what they've been digging later. But over this way is uh, Mary's well. <laughs> And this is the laundry. And you can see the two that are down are mine. So we have six American style washers that you don't have to put money in. We have a sink and then five Israeli dryers that work, that take a while to uh, work, and then lots of soap powder. So anyway, oops, sorry. So that is the laundry situation and the soap powder is provided by the way. No dryer sheets, you actually take your sheets out and dry them. Ha, ah, right. Just to wrap up the uh, laundry vlog, I wanted to show you the, this. It's, it's called a clothespin. You Americans probably haven't seen it before. <laughs> also in Australia, they're called pegs, because you peg, peg stuff on the line with them, yeah, like that. Um, in the motion picture industry, they're called C-47, so maybe some Americans have seen these. You use this to clip gels and black wrap and stuff on lights. They're really great until they start burning and catch fire. Anyway, to uh, operate one, you would take the clothing item that you want to peg or you know, hold in place with the clothespin, pin it. You put it up there like that, and then you squeeze the top, it opens up of course, it's hard to do. Hang on. Sorry. Got to get it in place. There we go. And it's hard to do one-handed. You really need two hands. Uh, you squeeze the top. It opens up. And you slide it onto the clothing article. Let go. Holds it in place like that. And then after about an hour here in Israel, your clothes are nicely dried and aired out. All natural. Um, what do you call them? Dryer sheets? <laughs> anyway fabric soft, well not fabric softener, the fabric's actually somewhat uh, 
harder than it would be if you uh, stuck it in one of those electronic devices.